Hello folks, it's Blue, here with a quick video about how to make your Skyrim more stable and less likely to crash and probably boost your performance as well. I'm doing this because I'm going to be doing some Skyrim videos soon and uh, I thought I should share the tips on how to make it more stable, make it less likely to crash. So, I'm going to just run through the things I do to make my game more stable, even with all of the high-res textures, ENBs, and all that. Now, most of these, you can get the same info from here, the speed and stability guide for ENB. Most of it class can still work for non-ENB users, though. I personally got most of this from here, but I thought I should spread it around and show exactly what you're supposed to do. Now we'll just start start off with your SKSE any. If you don't have SKSE, you're not modding Skyrim. <laughs> now in, you want to go from there to your Skyrim folder, then data, then SKSE. Then you'll be here. Usually there is not this SKSE any file. If there isn't, you just do new text document, rename it SKSE. Then you delete the .txt. Now, if you just had that, it would say file name extension change, and then it would just be a file. It wouldn't be any type of file, just file. Or if I'm not going to make it any because I already have, but just to show how it works, I'll say it was a Lua file. If we were going to do that, see, it just turns into a Lua file. But I already have the any, so I'm not going to mess with that. Now, to show you what you do in the any, you go into your any and put this these lines in. I'm not sure if that one actually does anything. Some guides say it does, some say it doesn't. I just put it in because some say it does make it better. But that's all you do. You put that into the SKSE any. But so you folks don't have to uh, go through the trouble of typing it out yourself, I'll just make this paste bin file and I'll include a link to it in the description below so you guys can just copy it right there and have all your info you need. Now, the next thing I'll show, now I've shown the SKSE any trick, is for ENB users. I highly recommend you get ENB if only for this trick. You can disable all of the extra effects that would usually drain FPS and only have the things that lower, increase, sorry, your stability. Now you'd go into your ENB local dot any. Now if you want to just use these things for the higher stability without any of the extra graphical stuff ENB usually includes, you just change the false right here and use patch speed hack without graphics into true instead of false. And then everything else other than the memory stuff doesn't matter at all because the effect is not there. Any ENB is effectively just there to give you this higher stability that I'm showing how to do. That's all. So you don't have to worry about any performance loss due to ENB being there. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Due to ENB being there. Now, next you will want to go to the memory section of ENB's any. If you don't have it, you must have messed up somewhere on your ENB install. Now this is the ENB any that I am currently using. I'll just show you editing a completely fresh ENB local any. I've also found that this trick makes it so the newer versions of ENB series don't crash every 27 seconds like they usually do. So I'll just create a copy of ENB local. Now this is what you'd have. Now for those of you who don't want to have an ENB active, you change the false over to true. And then down here in memory, I'm just going to double check reference the speed the guide here to ensure I tell you the right things. Yeah. So you want basically you start off by copying this bit in the memory but you go to performance and ensure that speed hack equals true then for memory you have most of it true 
you set your x64 to true. x64 equals true. Then your memory usage you also want true. Driver memory manager false. Then you would want your preload to RAM at false. Then your unsafe memory hacks at true for me, but false for those of you with lower than four gigabyte video cards. For me, I would put this also to true because mine is a four gigabyte card. Then you do your reserved memory size. So this one you just set at whatever you start out there and increase it as you go until you stop having any performance boost from it and set it at that so I'm not gonna run that I think I have my mine is set at 512 but probably doesn't make much difference then your video memory size MB that's an important one that one lets Skyrim use the absolute maximum it can get I'll just run through here and just to ensure it's calculated correctly calculator so you start off with your RAM so you take in my case 16 for 16 giga RAM 16 then you add in your video RAM for me it's 4 then you will put subtract that but oh sorry it's not 16 16 one six zero 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 because it's in uh, gigabytes it wants it in megabytes then you add four thousand to that then you subtract two thousand forty eight which totals you to 17,000 in this case 17,952 now just to show if you were say on a 8 gig of RAM so 8 plus we'll say you had a 2 gig card so 2,000 then you subtract the 2,084 48 so 2 4, 0, 4, 8. Oh, sorry, I missed the 8,000, so I gotta go back. 8,000 plus 2,000 minus 2048. And for you, with a 2 gigabyte card and 8 gig of RAM, you would put 7,952. What you put depends on your memory, so I recommend you just run it through a calculator so it tells you exactly what you want to set it at so you don't miss anything. So in my case, I would put it to what I have always had it at, which is the 17,952. Then, just to check here, enable and compression, you put it put as true. But if you have stuttering, you put it to false. And you don't have it auto-detect your video memory size because you've already put it in. Then for the engine, there are some things it recommends, but... I just use whatever the uh, thing defaults at my the ENB local any of whatever ENB preset I'm using and limiter I personally do recommend you use an F the FPS limiter and limit your FPS to 59 because it can cause issues if you don't like Skyrim physics goes crazy when it goes over 60 FPS I don't know why but I've heard it happens so it's a wise thing to put it at 59 just to be on the safe side so that is pretty much all I have to tell you about this but just so those of you who want to do this themselves and have 16 gig RAM and a 4 gigabyte memory card I'll just copy the memory section of my ENB any and put it into a paste bin file so that you folks can just copy it and paste it in. And 
Let me just double check, make sure I didn't miss anything else. I don't recommend Skyrim Project Optimization if you have the any building mods at all, because it can mess things up. I'm not sure if I use Decrease That Grass or not, personally. Optimizing the mod textures is not worth it. It tends to cause more issues than it fixes, in my experience. And that's all you have to do to make it work better. So, I would like to thank you folks for watching. Please enjoy the video, and I hope this helps you have a much more stable and better performing Skyrim. Thank you for watching, folks. Please like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Goodbye!